Okay, let's see these sentences. Itanu Kannada Vidyardi. So can you tell me the meaning of Itanu Kannada Vidyardi? Ye Kannad ka Vidyardi hai. Ah, yes. So, idi every kalam. Tell me in Hindi. Uh, idi every kal kalam is pencil or pen? Pen, pen, pen. 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 Idi, idi. There is no tell you, uh, Hindi meaning or English meaning. I am. It is like exercise. You can try. Idi every yes. kalam. Okay. Ye ek kalam hai. Uh, see. I will I will explain now one minute. So I am writing here. Idi avari kalam. See, uh, there is a translator in this Google Docs also. Do you know? No. Okay. And one more thing, there is. If you say in Telugu, it will type in Google Docs. Do you know that one? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see this one. Uh, tools translate document. Okay. This one translate document. I think it will translate everything, but I don't want like that. Mm -hmm. I don't want like that. Okay. So, but let me see. I will copy this one. Then I'll go to new. Then I'll take new document. See, I'm putting here. Every column. Okay, so I'm going because I want to translate only this one. If you want to translate yes, something, sir. also use this method tools, yes. then translate document. So here, translated copy of untitled document. This is Telugu. Telugu. Then Hindi. Okay, translate. Again, I am getting new document. You see. ये किसके कलम है? Okay. In Hindi, he yes. converted it in Hindi. Yeah. So if you type one paragraph in Telugu, or if you type one <laughs> paragraph in Hindi, if you choose translate this one into, you will get another document, another tab. You see on the upper area. I will show now. See this one. This one our document. It converted into open into another document. यह किसकी कलम है? Okay, यह किसकी कलम है? But this is useful when you have a like paragraph, so you can have yes. the full paragraph into this one. Okay, now uh, see, I want to teach you also because this one new you you can use in your learning process whenever you want to translate, like you type one yes. one Hindi paragraph, then translate into Telugu like that. You can do it will come correctly, but if you know the language, you can make the corrections, what corrections required, okay? And one more thing, now see, here, there is one, one more option, tools, mm -hmm. then voice typing, okay? Here, mm -hmm. Hindi is there, okay? I will press this one, then I will say it something, then let us see how it types. I will not type, okay? I, okay. Mera Nam. Okay, one minute. I need to check this one. Mera Nam Praveen Hai. Hmm. <laughs> Type. Okay. Now, hmm. then I will put Telugu. Okay. Na Piru Suman. It typed. It typed na okay, okay. Oh, she, it typed okay also. <laughs> then na peru sumant. It understood like sumant. Okay. But what okay, did you okay. say? Su? Mana, suman. Suman, okay. Uh, it's some technical issue, okay. But if you read pure Telugu, it will understand properly. Okay, let's try. Me pere intandi. Correct. This is correct. Okay. I said correct. It is typing again correct. Whatever I am <laughs> speaking now, it will uh, try to speak. Okay. But since yes. I am speaking in English, it is not typing. You see? Okay. Now let's go back to the, this one. Okay. 
but I feel better to use the translate translate.google.com for the um, small, small sentences. Instead of translating full document, that is useful when you have very big letter, big translation, okay? So now, mm -hmm. uh, let me go to here, okay? Now you know the meaning of this one. Yeh kiski kalam hai, okay? Hmm. I will put this one in, okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, the next one, uh, Adi Narayan. Gadi Aram. Uh, Nara, see, even, see, 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 even I am I am reading wrongly when I read in Hindi. I am reading like Adi Narayan Gadiaram. But it is not Narayan. In Telugu, it is Narayana. Uh. <laughs> okay. Adi Narayana so, Gadiaram. Uh, Adi Narayana Gadiaram in Telugu. Yes. But when I read in Hindi, I am reading as Adi Narayan Gadiaram because I am understanding that it's Hindi. So when I come to Hindi, I make it short. But when you come to Telugu, you need to make it full, the ending. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Adi Narayana Gadiaram. Okay. Now, can you tell me the meaning of Adi Narayana Gadiaram? Uh, ye Narayan ki ghadi hai. Ye nahi. Wa. <laughs> okay. Because wow. rem remember, yeh near, idi. Hmm. Okay. Wo, adi. Wo, wo, adi. Yes. Wo, adi. Okay. Next one. Yes. Uh, Ame peru jala ja. Ah, Ame peru jala. Okay. Tell me in Hindi. And next is Usha Tamila. Hmm. Ame, Ame peru jala ja. You tell me in Hindi. How do you understand? It? Okay. Okay. Uh, uska na, uh, she is. Uh, her name. Yes, yes. Yes. Her name is Jalaja. Yes. Her name is Jalaja. Yes, correct. Okay. The next one is Shekar Yavaru. Okay. Shekar Yavaru. So, can you, did you understand the meaning of Shekar Yavaru? For example, Shekhar if Yavaru. I want to ask Praveen Yavaru. Pravindra Yavaru, there is a person. No. Yavaru. So, uh, Shekhar is a name. Shekhar Kaun hai. Yes, Shekhar Kaun hai. Correct, correct. So, okay. now you are getting the two words. Okay. So, tell me, tell me a few more names. Any names. Then say Yavaru. Continue. Uh, Harsha Yavaru. Yes. Harsh Yavaru. Yeah. You can say Suman female, female <laughs> names also. Yeah. Suman Yavaru. Yeah. Like um, Sri Lata Yavaru, Lakshmi Yavaru, Prasad yeah. Yavaru. So, whenever you want to ask who is that person, like, you know, who plus name, you can say Yavaru. Mm. Name plus Yavaru. The next one. Usha, Usha, yes. Usha, Tam. Usha, Usha Tam. Okay. Usha Tamila Vidyardini. Yes. Usha Tamil ki vid, uh, Vidyarthi hai. Yeme pe, Peru Sucharita. Sucharita. Okay. Uh, tell me this one in Hindi. Yeme Peru. Yeme. Uh, Okay, now you, I will click this voice button. You say, okay. I will see whether it will type or not. Hmm. <laughs> it typed up to here correct. But this hmm. one, you said something wrong. Uh, Sura, what's that name? Su, Sucharita. Suricita. Sucharita. So, Sucharita hmm. looks like this. Sucharita. Okay. So, the meaning you know already. Let's put Hindi. Uska naam Sucharita hai. Okay. Hmm. I think it's easy to teach using translator because we know the language. <laughs> and also, see here, even if you don't understand this part, let me 
make it bigger size you read this one ime peru sucharita hmm hmm translation and also when you uh, yeah if you want to listen that word that pronunciation when you are practicing you press press this one so you will listen, you will hear that pronunciation part one yes, minute sir. i will enable that one i am pressing this one ime peru sucharita okay so mm-hmm. whenever you don't understand some pronunciation try to put it here in any way okay you speak it will type then listen again yes okay now let's go to the this one the next one is um, shaker attenderu shaker ah. attend uh, yes sh- sir then it will be shaker shekra no, attender no, no. names remain same okay shekra <laughs> attender names shekar only okay shekar attender so this one you, we don't read like shekara because telugu names mm. same hindi as in hindi yes. shekar yes attender yeah. here nothing to translate shekar attender in hindi also shekar attender in english also shekar yes. in english little difference we use grammar shaker is an attend is an attender but in mm-hmm. hindi it is same let's go to the next one yes so over i guess yeah okay now we have this lesson 3 okay snehitudi illu friends house okay can you illu is a house yes yes can you tell me the meaning of snehitudi ah you know yes. now because in english it's yes. there so i don't need to ask okay. so, no sir it, it is i'm getting revision sort of na ah okay. when you ask it's a revision for me yeah okay so idi jawahar lal nehru photo idi jawahar lal nehru photo then the meaning is like this this is a photograph of jawahar lal nehru so let's see mm-hmm. the meanings for each word this means idi okay hmm. so e is no need to translate e no need to translate because in telugu we have we don't have any meaning we have the meaning word oka but not necessary yes idi oka jawahar jawaharlal nehru oka nehru idi idi jawaharlal nehru oka photo doesn't sound good so not mm-hmm. necessary to use the translation of a photograph just we say photo only mm-hmm. ah see photograph of jawahar lal nehru so of means yokka okay so if we want to translate it will become like jawahar lal nehru yokka photo that means photograph of jawahar lal nehru but in spoken telugu we skip that word yokka so jawahar lal nehru photo if i say uh, book of praveen hmm can you translate in telugu praveena book uh, praveena pustakam no names we don't may try don't read like telugu we do praveen only okay praveen pustakam uh, like my name praveen pustakam yes okay now computer of no no okay let's say compute uh, this is a computer of sumi now you tell me in telugu id sumi computer yes sumi. correct 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 okay let's say one more okay the house of suman idi suman illu yes correct yeah it is da means here we don't we can translate as idi not a problem yeah it is correct so now you understand the concept okay let's go to the next one iyana tandri peru motilal iyana tandri peru motilal so the meaning is his father's name is motilal okay so let's practice with this structure one few more times 
So Iyana means his, Tandri means father. Mm. See here, we have apostrophe plus name. Okay. Yes. So when there is something like that, we can add Gari if we want to show respect. But if you remove Gari, it is fine. We can say Tandri Peru. So father's name, Tandri Peru. Okay, the mm -hmm. full meaning of father's name is Tandri Gari Peru. I will write here. See, Tandri Gari Peru. Okay. This one, we can take. Then, this one, we change as Nana Peru in spoken Telugu. So remember, this is only a book. So in the book, usually, even it is spoken Telugu book, uh, they mentioned like written language. But sometimes in stories and all, we say Tandri Garu, Ayana Tandri Garu Peru. It's okay to say, but in general conversations, real life situations, instead of Tandri, we use Nana. Okay. Nana. Hmm. Okay. So remember the difference. Father's name, Tandri Gari Peru. This is full meaning. You can also skip that word Gari and you can say Tandri when we are use when you are using in written Telugu. Okay. But when you come to the spoken Telugu part, you can say Nana Gari Peru. Fine, it, it can be used to show more respect. Me Nanagari Peru NT. Okay. Mm. Like that. So Nanagari, you can Gari, you can skip me Nana Peru NT. Nana Peru ENT. Peru ENT. This is like what's your father's name. Okay. Mm. But when we come to the spoken Telugu part, Peri whenever you are, you are telling like Peri becomes Peri as a single word. Peri and T. Me Chellel Peri Me Akai Peri So, can you tell me what is the name? is, I guess, small sister. Yes, yes. Me. And Akai is. Okay, so here. Very choti behenka now. Oh, uh, what's your sister? Okay. Name. Okay, but here I will. Kai is bigger sister. Yeah, sisters. Here, younger sister. Okay. Yes. Now let us see the next one. Me. Hmm. Akka parenti. Yes. Sir. What's your sister? So here in English same, but it will be yellow sister. Okay. Uh, me. I see. Uh, actually, I am seeing a serial Kavya Anjali that is in Telugu, okay. and that's why I am picking that word still Lily and uh, mm. Akka. They spoken language they use. Yeah. These words. Yes, yes. Me, Amori, Ariyanti. Can you translate this one? Me, Tamudi, Tamudi, Ariyanti. Tamuda is, I think, small brother. Yeah. See, for all these things, okay. I am I'm going to write here some relationship. Okay. Father. Nana Garu. Nana. Okay. Then when we say this one like fathers. Hmm. Nana Gari or just Nana is enough. Okay. Garu becomes Gari. Hmm. Okay. Then we add that apostrophe S. Yes. That is the difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
the difference you need to understand okay brother brother tamdu tamdu younger one yes sir when we say like brothers tamu tamudi tamudi yeah this difference you need to catch me tamudu yes. parenti not correct me tamudi parenti mm -hmm. this is correct similarly chendelu sister chendelu okay then mm. when we say sisters sisters so it will be chelleli so chellelu becomes chelleli okay yes sir yeah this is the difference so this difference you need to understand so when you are making homework okay what you have to do you take any concept take yes, any sir. concept make 10 sen sentences so here our context on our context is like you know apostrophe s and mm -hmm. ask me so you write 10 sentences me tammudi parenti me akka parenti me baba gari parenti me attamma parenti me amma gari parenti me nanna gari parenti make 10 sentences so mm. you will have nice vocabulary in your mind mm. write everything in hindi okay yeah. if you don't want to write just no i will write yeah, <laughs> write but if you want to make a video or some lesson purpose you come here mm. here i will take i will teach you now so i am reading now me అక్క పేరేంటి ఓకే దిస్ ఈస్ ఓవర్ నా ఫస్ట్ యూ రైట్ ఫస్ట్ యూ రీడ్ టెన్ సెంటెన్సెస్ లెట్ సే యూ సే సంథింగ్ ఇన్ తెలుగు మీ తమ్ముడి పేరేంటి యూ సే నా పేరు సుమన్ Yes, it came correctly now. Na per suman. Okay. So, like that, you read Telugu 10 sentences. Then what yes. you have to do, when you are making a file or lesson like that, you use this technology. Now, if you, you don't, you should not translate. You have to get the translation from somewhere, a Google translator or, or from your mind. You need to speak here in Hindi. Change here the language. Because... typing it is difficult sometimes you know in languages mm -hmm. difficult mm -hmm. but if you change this one to hindi okay can you say this one hindi me akka pere enti uh meri meri sister ka naam nahi meri nahi tumhara ha 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 aur aapka aapka again sister you say sister um, yeah. you have to say in didi 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 aapka didi ka naam kya hai yes sir like that you have to say okay now try now i will switch on this one aapki uh, didi ka naam kya hai <laughs> <laughs> it understood ha isne thoda sa gadbad liya wait 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 you try again one minute aapki didi ka naam kya hai didi yes didi now yeah maybe from zoom it is not understanding properly but when i say didi it understood correctly so aapki didi ka naam kya hai so it is hmm. typed perfectly so when you make